It was a declaration of war on tax havens around the globe. U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen's proposal for a global minimum tax on corporations has met with approval, not just from the IMF, but especially here in Europe. And it's causing some unrest in the Caribbean. The British Virgin Islands are highly prized by some corporations, the ones that shift profits across national borders into shell companies in order to pay hardly any taxes. U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen's proposal for a global minimum tax rate of 21 percent was aimed at these companies. Washington urgently needs additional revenue because the pandemic is costing billions. The U.S. Treasury loses nearly $50 billion a year to tax cheats, according to the advocacy group Tax Justice Network. Germany comes in second, and France is also among the top losers. No wonder Yellen is finding support in Europe. The U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said yesterday that she's in favor of a worldwide minimum corporate tax rate. This is a matter that I've been working on for a very, very long time. Let's take the American 21% and use it as a global minimum tax rate. And this could fly and also end the business of tax havens outside of Europe as well as in Europe. It's not only Caribbean islands that are among the world's most attractive tax havens. EU members, the Netherlands and Luxembourg, are also among the top ten. That's why EU parliamentarians like Sven Giegold are grateful for the support from Washington. This is the moment we were waiting for, and we will take your 21 percent, and we would support it as basis for a global deal. If they make that move, we have a chance that this will become policy very soon because the public budgets are empty everywhere globally. We simply need the money. And so the pandemic could now make possible what seemed impossible for decades, reclaiming huge amounts of tax revenue. Well, Chelsea Delaney there uh, in Frankfurt, uh, we heard, uh, amongst others, the German finance minister there who is more than happy with the proposal. Uh, is Europe, however, really united on this matter? And what about the corporates themselves? What do they say? Well, the European heavyweights are, are certainly behind this idea. France and Germany have been two of the key forces driving uh, the, this proposal. Uh, for European companies, it would largely be good. Uh, many European companies pay very high taxes. Here in Germany, the average uh, corporation pays around 30 percent, a 30 percent corporate tax rate. So it would be uh, helpful to, to somewhat even, even the playing field for these companies that are uh, uh, paying much lower tax bills. Other EU countries are likely to be more resistant. As uh, I mentioned in the report, there are some uh, EU tax havens like the Netherlands. Ireland is also a big place where companies will incorporate. So those economies do stand to lose out if this proposal goes through. Okay, and there'll certainly still be some discussions ahead then. Uh, Chelsea Delaney in Frankfurt, thank you so much.